Good morning. It's day seven, I think. And I've just left the old ranch. I'm just in the parking lot. Parking lot, I'm in the car park. And uh, I was gonna film this outside, but there's a lot, a lot of homeless people in the car park asking for money off of people that are leaving the hotel. So, oh, we'll tighten this a breath then. Yeah, so I'm in the car doing this. Now last night I woke up, um, I put it down to that I'm just tired from all the driving, blah, 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 everything else. I woke up about half past 12, thinking there was someone knocking on my bedroom door. And I looked, there's no one there. Then I came then about quarter past, half past three, about 20, we'll say 20 past for argument's sake. Um, I had my name being shouted like really loud, which made me wake up bolt upright, turn the light on, think, oh my God, fucking so overtired, jet lag, whatever it is, just went back to sleep. And then 10 minutes before my alarm went off, I heard a girl call my name, which woke me up and I stayed up since. So I came downstairs and the, uh, the girl said to me, oh, girl Kathy, amazing girl, working on the thing. She said, oh, you, uh, you, work at, you are on the third floor. So I said, yeah. And she's telling me how the third floor is haunted. And everything that I experienced, other people have had and said that uh, it, this has happened to them as well. So, uh, yeah. And also Ghost Adventures filmed here. How the fuck have I missed that? I'm a big Ghost Adventures fan. Apparently Ghost Adventures booked this whole hotel and uh, did filming here la uh, last year. Fuck. I'm going to have to watch that one. So yeah, right now I'm on my way down to the Jackrabbit Trading Post, and that's all I've got booked today, so I might even try. But we'll see. We'll see what happens, but uh, yeah. Let's go. We just stopped off and had uh, breakfast at Denny's, which was really good actually. I had Eggs Benedict. Never had that in the UK, I've always wanted to try it. It was on the menu here, I had it. And you get a load of hash browns with it. It's not like what we get, like the little compressed things, it was just like a, all freshly made. Really, really good. So Denny's in her Holbrook, Arizona. Really, really good. And the staff were great. Look at the length of this train. I'm looking for the uh, Jackrabbit trading post. Oh, here it is. I'm here. This is the very, very famous sign. And the very, 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 very famous Route 66 stop off the Jack Rabbit Trading Post. We are, I am here. We are here. You are watching it with me. We are here together. And, whoa. You never quite get used to the uh, hot air when it hits you. Oh, that's real hot. So I'm standing in front of a hairdryer outside in the sun. But we are here. We're we gonna go inside, we're we gonna check it out. Yeah, this is it, the trading post. Now, if you do have a Route 66 passport, you can get that stamped here as well. And here we are. This is it. This is all the uh, little gifts and little bits and pieces. And uh, this is where I'm going to try and find some gifts to, uh, to take home. They have a whole range of stuff. From t-shirts, uh, spices for cooking, barbecues, you've got your cups. You've got your little ornaments. They've even got all the Route 66 memorabilia down at the front. Ice creams, drinks, shoes. These guys. I'm absolutely loving these mugs. I'm a bit of a mug person. I drink a lot of tea back in England. So the only problem is, is my bag is pretty much full. And I'm also worried about it breaking, which is a shame really. Because I would have uh, gone through quite a lot of these.
don't remove the items. And this is the Route 66 room. Well, I'm absolutely loving that coke fridge. That's the first time I've ever seen one. This is absolutely amazing. And you can't touch anything. This is absolutely amazing. Is that a book to sign? Sounds good. It's a silver sprayed tumbleweed. Tumbleweed. There's a collection of rabbits. Just in here. And this is something I can bring back. Magnets. Yeah. Not signs. Yeah, we've got some coasters here. Really, really good. Yeah. Mm. You're fine. That's fine. Go on. These trains, they just go on for miles. <laughs> so I've just left the Jackrabbit trading post. I got some gifts for everybody. Um, I got myself a mileage sign. Uh, it was, f I'm currently 5,000 and 94 miles from my house, from this spot. And I've got a nice mileage sign. They took a picture of me, just over there, to put on their Facebook page. No one's ever put me on Facebook before. I can't recommend this place enough. I've got to go back in and get my passport stamped. I've just remembered. But I cannot recommend this place enough. They are the nicest couple on the route. It's, it's like, uh, the best service I've had in a shop since I've been here. Um, they are so nice. I've got no signal out here at all. Um, and we couldn't get how much the mileage was. So she phoned her son at work uh, to get the mileage to my address from here. Absolutely amazing service. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna get my passport stamp, stamped, and then we're gonna head off to, shoot, uh, to Flagstaff and check that out. There's a lot of these signs about human trafficking. It's always a worry when you're on the road on your own. I'm now in Winslow, Arizona, and this is famous for the uh, song Take It Easy by the Eagles. Uh, there's a part of the song standing on the corner in Winslow, Arizona. What a sight to see. And it was, uh, it? there's a girl, my lord, and a flatbed Ford. Well, there's a flatbed Ford there. Now, this isn't actually um, the place for it, so to speak, because the song was actually written in um, Flagstaff. Was it Flagstaff? No, Kingman. It was just, it was up the road anyway. It wasn't actually written here. But uh, this is just a nice little thing to come and see. It's a very, very quiet town. Nothing else going on apart from this. They've got these uh, bronze statues of the band just here, and I don't actually know their names. I know the band, but I don't know who the, uh, the artists were. And this is a flatbed Ford. I see many of these around here. Now that's actually just a wall, it's not a building. Uh, it's probably about two foot thick. 
and you can just walk straight around the back of it. This is all just uh, just painted on for the town, for the tourism. But it's really, really nice. It's really nice and peaceful here. I'm just in the gift shop now, which is across the road uh, from the main attraction. And it's big. <coughs> nice, big gift shop. And it's got aircon, and it's nice and cool. I'm just going to have a little look around now, just to uh, see what I can see. So, so I've just uh, overspent in the gift shop, as I normally do. And this is what I was talking about around the back. It's just a wall that's been put up. I originally thought this was uh, an actual, actual building when I saw a picture of it. Let's move on now to uh, Flagstaff. So this trip, I've been feeling pretty down, pretty lonely, um, until I saw this. I used to work for Wilts and Dorset. That's a, a Bournemouth bus. No idea how the fuck it got over here, but that bus, I worked in the depot where that could have been. You many, 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 you know, moons ago, but what's the odds? I used to work for Wilton Dorset when I worked for National Express. And uh, this is one of their buses and it's just in, in, in Winslow, Arizona. It's absolutely crazy. Look at that. Looks like it was some old training post that's gone bust. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it or not, but just off over there in front of all the mountains, it's this thick smoke. There's three fires in uh, north of Flagstaff, and they've just said on the radio it's completely devastated around 20,000 acres. And people's homes, loads of people have been evacuated. I just feel so sorry for them. You know, it's so beautiful here. And then you just got a fire just over there. So I'm currently in Flagstaff, and this is the Hotel Monte Vista. It's a well known haunted hotel that's had Michael J. Fox visit and stay there many a times. And there's going to be one of his most favourite hotels in Flagstaff. It's like a really nice little town. It's really, really good here. Everything you could want is here. And I parked just up the road there and the parking was a dollar for an hour. Which is absolutely amazing considering this is a tourist area. So it's definitely well worth coming to visit. So I've just had a little walk around the gift shops. They've got a really nice sweet shop just up the road. Um, there's not really a lot here for me as such. So I'm going to head on now to Williams and uh, get my hotel and have a walk around in Williams and see what they've got there. I've heard it's more of a Route 66 town than Flagstaff is anyway. But, um, yeah, we'll have to wait and see. This is a really, really nice town. It really, really is a nice town. I mean, you just look around. And it's got everything that, here that you want. And uh, everyone's staring at me. That's one thing I'm not getting used to either, is these big bloody trucks. When you're on the motorway, they... Uh, they drive 70 mile an hour over here. So yeah, I'm gonna head back to the car and shoot off now to Williams. That sounds interesting. Maybe I should uh, turn up with my air guitar and see what I can do. This is the, uh, the motel that I'm staying in tonight. The Lodge 66. 
I'm in room number 11 over there, Shamrock. And uh, do you know what? I'm feeling so much, uh, let me turn this off. I'm feeling so much better about this trip now. Um, I'm currently on my way to the Grand Canyon and I, you know, it started off for me, I think I was just so, I, I wouldn't say overtired, I was really missing my family. It seemed like one hell of a long trip to do on my own. Uh, probably didn't think it through. But I'm feeling all right. You know, it's only been a week. It's like, you know, but I've settled in. And uh, I'm now on my, wow. <coughs> Looks like some sort of a ride thing up there. So yeah, I'm in Williams, Arizona, and I'm now on my way to the Grand Canyon. And you know what? I can't fucking wait. So I've just had lunch at Wendy's, which was really nice. Expensive, <laughs> but nice. And uh, now um, I'm waiting to go into the Grand Canyon. It's $35 uh, for a private vehicle to go in. And you can't pay cash, you can only pay your credit or debit card. So, uh, I'm glad I've got both on me, otherwise it would have been 58 miles here from the hotel for fuck all. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I can't wait to get in and see it. It's nearly my time, nearly my time. Oh, can't wait. A little bit closer to the man in the hat in the office. Overcharging. Oh yeah. I'm in. Right, that thirty-five dollars is va is making the this vehicle or me valid for seven days. So thirty-five dollars is actually a really good deal. That's about what thirty-two quid for seven-day pass to the Grand Canyon. It'll cost you more than that to go to one of these uh, national trust sites. So, yeah, we're on our way. Really looking forward now. Can't wait. So, I've just arrived. And for some reason, just driving up here, I'm incredibly out of breath. And I've no idea why. Ooh. I'm going to take a walk now to Mather Point, which is a, uh, what I saw when I was in the UK. That was where I planned on going. And that's where we're going to walk to now. This is it. My God. I'm now walking up to the Mather Point Amphitheatre and I'm completely lost for words. I am completely lost for words. Look at that. On the way down, about breaking my neck. It's just unbelievable, isn't it? Jesus Christ. This is absolutely beautiful. I've never seen anything like it. It's like looking at a screensaver. Wow. 
So I'm just walking a little bit further up Mather Point now, just to have a look at some uh, different views. It's just unbelievable. I really hope the video is doing it justice. And these are like little trails you can go for a walk. Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to take a little walk down now to that ridge that goes out where everyone's standing and see what the view's like down there. Now I'm here, I need to get every angle of it. It's, uh, it's just breathtaking. Look at it. My God. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, look at this. This is absolutely amazing. Roman, you pick which way, right? Look at it. This is unreal. I just can't believe I'm here. I mean, I've always wanted to see the Grand Canyon, but I didn't think I'd ever actually get here to see it. I'm not even looking through the lens, I'm too busy looking in person, so hopefully this uh, video comes out alright. So I've just moved on down to uh, another bit. Careful, go to the... Here, we can see right here. That's right here by, the, by Ian and looking that way. Careful, Angelina. Here you go, though. I'm just driving back from the Grand Canyon. And I can't believe I've actually found this place. This used to be um, a Flintstones theme park. And then it's closed now. Well, there is uh, some sort of park thing still here. But uh, it's not Flintstones anymore, as far as I'm aware, anyway. I heard it was closing down a few years back. And uh, just on the uh, off chance, I've come across it here. I'll uh, try and find some more information about this, this place, and uh, put it in the description. Look at this. I saw a video with uh, Adam the Woo, uh, and he was here giving a talk on it. And uh, I can't remember what he said. I'm sure he said that it was about to close last year in July, I think. 
So this is the inside of one of the uh, sort of play things probably. It's been left here. Little uh, Flintstones car. Just up at the front here for kids to sit on and play on. It's a volleyball area. Over in the far back is now an RV park. I'm not sure how much it is to stay, but uh, if it's anything like the hotels that I'm paying for, probably be better to just uh, stay in a hotel. You know what, I'm so proud of this 2020 Chevy Spark. She's only little. She's got me from Chicago to Arizona. Bless her. I need to give her a good wash, I think. Not necessarily a rental, but... I don't know. We've got a bit of a bond, me and this girl now. It'd be sad to uh, see her go when we get to LA. But we've got a long time yet. The sign says open. So let's have a little look. Born in bedrock. Yeah, I'm going to have to do some uh, digging to find out exactly what this place was. But uh, <clears throat> here we go. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Not bad, thanks. So that was just like a, a little gift shop, the stuff for uh, the Grand Canyon, Arizona. Looks like an RV shop. They had all food, drinks, beers, milk, all that sort of stuff. There was an eight dollar uh, fee to go out the back to see something, but I just need to get back to the hotel. To be honest with you, it's been a long, long, long way today, and I just need a shower, a shit, and some sleep. Almost back in Williams now, but I just wanted to film this little bit, it's so scenic, it's unreal. It's such a beautiful, apart from the road being completely fucked, it's uh, it's nice as you come in. Oh, nearly back at the hotel, it's been a long fucking drive. So I'm back in Williams now, and look at that, they've actually made an old train car into a bridge. How amazing is that? This here is Route 66. Going straight down there. And uh, that's where I'll be going tomorrow. It is such a beautiful little town. This is just a, a zip line here they've got in the town. And there they go. Now this here, many moons ago, used to be a brothel. It's not anymore when they're never asked. Um, but yeah, that's why the, uh, the lady's in the window. And it's now a, uh, a motel, and you can uh, pay to stay there for the night. Now we just saw in the video, the, uh, those two guys in the zip line, and I just went around and had a little look. And it's $15 per person, or if you want to go on with two people, it's $12 each. Um, I suppose it's a tourist town, isn't it? But it's quite expensive if you ask me for what it is.